what would happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano actually erupted? If the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park experiences another major eruption, it could spew ash thousands of miles across the United States, damaging buildings, killing crops and shutting down power plants. This would be a major disaster. But that doesn't mean we should all start panicking. Luckily, the chances of that happening are quite low. The Yellowstone supervolcano, thousands of times more powerful than a regular volcano, has only experienced three very large eruptions in its history. One occurred 2.1 million years ago, one occurred 1.3 million years ago, and another 664,000 years ago. And despite what you sometimes hear in the media, there is no indication that we will experience another super eruption anytime soon. In fact, it is possible that Yellowstone will never experience an eruption of that magnitude again. Still, Yellowstone's supervolcano remains an endless source of apocalyptic fascination, and it's not hard to see why. In September 2014, a team of scientists published a paper in geochemistry, geophysics, geosystems that explored what the Yellowstone supereruption was actually like. Among other things, they found that the volcano was capable of burying states like Wyoming, Montana, Idaho and Colorado in three feet of dangerous volcanic ash, a mix of rock and glass fragments, and blanketing the Midwest. That much ash can kill plants and animals, destroy roofs, and cause short circuits in all kinds of electrical equipment. When I called one of the study's authors, Jacob Lowenstern of the U.S. Geological Survey, he stressed that the paper was not a prediction of the future. Even if Yellowstone erupts again, the worst will not happen, he said. More common are small eruptions. These are often ignored by the media. And even small eruptions are extremely rare. Lowenstern is the scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in Menlo Park, California. So I talked to him more about what we really know about the Yellowstone supervolcano, what an eruption might look like, and why the likelihood of a disaster is low. Hidden beneath Yellowstone National Park is a reservoir of hot magma five miles deep, fed by giant plumes of molten rock flowing from hundreds of miles below. The heat is responsible for many of the park's famous geysers and hot springs. And as the magma rises into the chamber and cools, the ground above it periodically rises and falls. 